Howdy ho friends. I am out walking my first time since the end of the 40 days last week. And honestly, I think I would have walked earlier, but the weather has been yucky. And right now it's like upper 50s, which is still a little bit chilly for this Texas gal. Um, but my body has been craving it, which is hilarious to me because let's be honest, like who am I right now? Um, but it feels good to be out here. It feels good to push my body and did my yoga and drink a lot of Dr. Pepper at lunch with friends. Um, but I've been listening to this book called What Happened to Me. And it's by, um, it's basically the way, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how the book goes. But audio wise, it's like a conversation between Oprah and this um doctor, I think he's a psychiatrist, he's an MD, PhD, um, named Bruce Perry, and it's called What Happened to Me, and it is just absolutely fascinating. It's talking about trauma and resilience and how our, like, even super early and in utero experiences create trauma and how we self-soothe, how we, um, respond to those different um, trauma experiences in our life and how trauma is different for all of us. You know, what's traumatic to one person might not be traumatic to another person and things like that. And just, um, just great examples and how, um, a lot of our behavior is, you know, from our childhood, which we know this, but they go in, you know, Dr. Perry goes into the, the science of it, which but he does it in a way that is like understandable, which is nice. Cause I like, I like that kind of science. Um, but talking about how, how important in-person connection is and how basically, you know, as a human race, we're fairly new, right? And um, before we used to be in small groups, small family groups, of like 60 to 100 people and those were what um what we knew and how we connected and that was our therapy right <laughs> and our trauma right <laughs> um but a lot of stuff like we would have those connections and and having those conversations and close relationships is how our brain can process the various traumas and heal from them and just talked about like how our technology and our society is evolving so quickly that our brain doesn't know how to process all the stimuli. And so our brain, like for example, when we're at an airport, I am like chronically, like it drove me nuts when it was um, with masks, but I chronically scan the faces of everybody in the, import, in the airport that I can see to see if I know anybody. And I'm not looking for anybody in particular. I'm just looking, do I know you? And you can think about how many faces are in an airport. And all of those faces, like even if you're not like me and not trying to scan them all, like they're all stimuli to your brain. And your brain is trying to basically categorize them like safe, unsafe, trustworthy. Not tr Like your brain is trying to match it against what your, um, what your like early subconscious brain knows right and so if you think about that and think about all the stimuli we have with our smartphones with you know all these reels and videos and all the ads and all the notifications and how much we demand on our brain to process on just a daily basis um that that actually in and of itself can create trauma responses in our body and anyway it talks a lot more in the book about lots of different stuff but it was just fascinating so i'm totally getting the paperback so i can like go back and study it but i absolutely loved it it was just super insightful so if you like i think it'd be helpful for anybody um and it really isn't like okay well this is didn't have a lot of prescriptive type things but it had a it did have some good ideas and just how important in-person connection is. And so I've, I've definitely seen that in my life because 
you know, for my year of apathy, like I really didn't have a lot of in-person connections. I had my pseudo connections with, oh, someone's having a party on the trails. Um, I have my pseudo connections through Facebook and social media and things like that, which are not bad, but they can't, like, they don't actually replace those in-person connections. And so I've been having a lot more lunch dates and things with friends and it's been really great. So, and how much having those connections heals trauma, even if we're not addressing trauma or addressing things like that, those in-person connections great healing so anyway check it out it's called what's happening to me by oprah and bruce perry so anyway it's a good day i'm walking and i'm coming to crosswalk so i'm saying goodbye we'll see you tomorrow